For Australian wheat growers, mid-season nitrogen fertiliser applications require a calculated approach. So we know that nitrogen is crucial for crops. We know that it directly affects the season profitability. It's a topic that Jonathan Ricchetti from the CSIRO explored at the Perth 2020 Grains Research Update. His presentation focused on using commercial sensors and machine learning to inform an in-crop nitrogen application decision. It's a technique that's been developed through the Future Farm 2 project, a GRDC investment that's using precision agriculture to bolster grower profitability through better nitrogen management. So what we're aiming to do here is to create a reliable estimate of end sufficiency and end deficiency using sensors and machine learning to inform an in-crop application of nitrogen. As Jonathan explains in his presentation, the research team used commercial proximal crop sensors to collect data on 12 different variables. The team worked across 11 different trial sites in Western Australia and South Australia, all with different management, weather and soil conditions. In each paddock, basically, we have three strips, that's our trials, the N minus strip, the farmer strip and the rich strip. The N minus is what it sounds like, it's a, a zero a nitrogen application or very close to the, the minimum, uh, which is applied at sowing. And then we have the farmer strip that we call it, which means is whatever the farmer would uh, apply, so it's his or her decision on, on the nitrogen mid-season application. Uh, and also we have the rich strip that would be trying to simulate an unlimited amount of nitrogen for the crop. That's basically the double of whatever the farmer believes it uh, needs to be applied. Each strip was scanned with commercial proximal crop sensors and was also cut and sent to an independent lab to verify the percent N. The data collected from the sensors was then analysed using machine learning algorithms. What you need to know about the machine learning technique, well, a machine learning algorithm, it's that it's a very good at recognising patterns in the data, in the numbers. So as, you, as it analyses the data that we, we have, uh, the training data, as it's trained, it looks for patterns between, in this particular case, the need of applied nitrogen and the variables, the NDVI and etc. Okay, and finding those patterns, then you can say, okay, which one of all these variables are most important when you want to address the nitrogen? These algorithms determine that two of the 12 variables were optimum predictors of mid-season N. So at this stage, uh, based on all the sensed um, variables, and we found that uh, two of those are the most important ones when it comes to the end decision, that is the red edge, it's uh, one of the uh, wavelengths, and the uh, simplified canopy chlorophyll content indexed. This uh, last one is basically an index of indices, so it's the ratio between NDVI and NDRE. And so with those, um, uh, we can we, we then build a regression uh, model, a logistic regression model that would tell us if you do or do not need uh, to apply. So once you scan uh, an area with that uh, information, we can apply the, the logistic regression and under, uh, identify in which parts of the paddock there is or there is not a need of uh, nitrogen application. This regression model is based on whether the crop meets a critical percentage N threshold of 4% at growth stage 31. If percentage N is lower than 4%, N should be applied. If it's above 4%, then an application isn't needed. We're getting the same as the lab in 96% of the time, um, which is a very promising uh, result that keeps us excited to to keep going on this path and explore more uh, the machine learning um, part of it and, and the boats with this and the sense data and the crop modeling and all more variables. It, it, it makes, uh, it's a good sign to say this is a path uh, worth pursuing. And the path ahead for the Future Farm 2 team is looking bright, with research continuing to build on these positive and promising results. The next step is, is 
bolting everything together in an operational way. So we want to use the machine learning and the crop modeling, specifically the apps and crop modeling, to drive an end decision. And for that, we want to use the crop sensors, the satellite data, the weather data, weather forecast, uh, soil information is very relevant when we talk about end. Um, and so trying to bolt all of this together to get optimal nitrogen uh, amount. And that, that's the, the ultimate goal of the project. Thank you very much and I'm open to questions. Jonathan Ricchetti, postdoctoral fellow at the CSIRO. And this video is one in a series of update videos recorded at the 2020 GRDC Grains Research Updates. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.